we're back today <coughs> on the N55 teardown uh, so what we've got here we've got the lower block I've gone ahead and loosened up the chain guide here also went ahead and loosened up the frank crank, crank bolt here uh, went ahead and take all the screws off all around all the uh, aluminum screws now I'm taking the brake uh, taking the main bolts off uh, I've started to crack them I'm also measuring what the breakaway torque on these main bolts are all right so let's go ahead and uh, get this off All right, so here we are, we got the lower part of the engine pan off. You can see the sealant right here, that Loctite sealant that it's got the channel here that fills up uh, from the injection ports on the side, right here. Magnetic sensors lock in. Okay, let's get the crank out. Here's the other half. Here's the lower half right here. Look at the bearings. Bearings doesn't look that bad. Got some minor wear, but not bad at all. Looks pretty good. Here's that groove. Here's the injection nozzle we talked about. Inject the, uh, so you have to put this Loctite sealant that goes through here. Then it fills up this groove all the way around on the lower half block. Okay. Here we are with the continued teardown of the N55 and inspection. So we've got the crankshaft inside the engine block and I've only put the two end uh, lower journals inside to rest it. I'm going to take a run out inspection on the crankshaft to see if it's within tolerance or it's outside of tolerance meaning that it's bent. So what we've done is that I've aligned the dowel as my zero position and then dowel to the first bolt hole is 30 degrees and then from bolts first bolt hole to the second bolt hole 60 so I've got degree position all around the flange and I'll go around and take it and then we'll watch the dial indicator to see what's our run out inspection That's pretty much zero. 
Each increment is 5 ten thousandths, point zero 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 five. So we'll call this a zero. We'll go ahead and set up on the other one and check the other one. All right, we've set up on journal number five. Main journal number five to check the runout inspection. We're on our zero position. Okay, so we got two and a half thousands. Let's go back, find the highest position. Right there. Right there is our highest position, which aligns to approximately maybe 120 degrees. We're set up on journal number four at our zero position. Two and a half. Same location as the one, so this crankshaft is have a uniform uh, bow to it. We're okay. We're uh, set up on journal number three, and we've got our zero position. Think of max is like two. Here on the two. So again, same location. Okay. Check the last journal, uh, number two. All right, last journal, journal number two. We are on our zero position. Zero. OK, 
zero. So this uh, crankshaft, I believe, is well within uh, the factory specification. I think the factory spec is 0.15 millimeter, which is about six thousandths. So we're less than half of that. So this crank is good to go. We'll just need to uh, clean it up. We'll check it, see if we need to have a polish. We'll probably 